All right, so what is the goddamn deal, YouTube? It is, of course, your boy Valand is back with another video. And before we get this video started, can y'all go ahead and uh, stump the like button out? Still talking down on my name, still, you know what I'm saying? Got things to say about me. Um, so yeah, go beat the like button up, stump them out, jump them, do whatever y'all gotta do, and uh, yeah. All right, so as y'all all know, people who are, you know, very familiar with my work, with me, with who I am as a creator, and just my journey as a photographer, already know that things like this happen also me i am no stranger to these type of things happening i've been going through these things since i've decided to you know start documenting and doing the photography that i do love now i know y'all seen the title of this video this is also another reason i need y'all to go hit the like button because the title of this video are is going to ruffle people's feathers and i actually don't have any idea why but there's people who get annoyed and just i don't know just people hate when you speak on your experience like they always try to discredit it or they they just don't like it it annoys them irritates them whatever it is some real insecurities going on and i have actually have no idea how what to do for those people but i cannot stop speaking on my experiences or what i go through as an artist photographer because i am not the only artist or photographer who may go through these things some artists and photographers may not even know that they're going through certain things if it's not spoken on so because without being told certain things i wouldn't even know myself but but i'm going to quickly speak on um something that happened within shooting this project so born and raised which is a brand that's from la collabed with the detroit pistons an nba team that's you know located in detroit i very much like the pistons a lot i love the pistons being from detroit um you know being a pistons fan even though that they are doing very very bad this year like the worst regardless still a pistons fan detroit people are very loyal to you know detroit teams and i'm a big pistons fan and i love everything about the pistons so shout out to sponto because he really pushed for me to shoot the photos for this project so 313 day is a day in detroit on march 13th 313 if you don't know 313 is the area code for detroit so every march 13th it is 313 day and you know a bunch of companies and brands and stuff do projects around the city highlighting creators just like what it's like to be a person from Detroit and all those type of things. So being from Detroit, this day means a lot to people from Detroit because you know it's just like a proud day of being a Detroiter or whatever. Um, shout out to Sponto because he immediately hit me up. Sponto is my man's. I worked on something with him before, um, and I just love Born and Raised. Love what Born and Raised stands for. So Sponto immediately hit me up and he was like, "Hey, I'm doing this project with the Pistons. I would love if you, you know, got on board." And I was like, "Bet. I would love to. First of all, shoot something with Born and Raised, but definitely shoot something with the Pistons because, like I said, I love the Pistons." it's an nba team i've gone to pistons games all of that i don't even have to really get into that he mentioned this like months before it even happened a couple weeks go past i heard that after my name was brought up to you know shoot this thing for the pistons they were like very like oh you know he shoots a lot of guns i don't know like maybe we should go with somebody else this and that you know blah 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 all the whole thing the whole i've heard this thing before all the time like one time i was going to shoot something for nike before i even get into all of this or anything like that it is fine i am very aware that every brand is obligated to do whatever they want for their brand nobody has to tell me that i'm not saying that anybody is obligated to shoot with me because I think I'm a good photographer. Don't nobody owe me nothing. It's, it's okay. Like, I, I don't care. Trust me, I do not care. And I understand from a brand standpoint that they are allowed to stand with whoever they want to stand with and do with what, like, do whatever they want to do. My issue is that it's saddening and very frustrating that because of what I choose to shoot for my personal work, that it affects me getting opportunities outside of what I do for my personal work because I work very hard um, to be the master of my craft and um, very I work very hard to just be a good photographer and um, in these meetings that like my name is brought up to because this isn't the first time that I've heard this but um, in this meeting they're always like oh he's a very good photographer very good at this very good at that we love his work but we just can't work with him that's why it's very frustrating to me because it's for no other reason outside of what I choose to shoot for my personal work which is again fine it's just saddening and frustrating sponsor really pushed to have me shoot this project too like they had no choice really but to let me shoot this project so shout out to sponto for being a real one it's just always frustrating too because like i'm a part of the culture right i'm 
you know in the culture i'm detroit um i'm from detroit i live here and to have like a bunch of people who are not part of the culture a bunch of like white men in suits who are not from detroit and come in and say like who can and can't be a part of a project that's for the culture in detroit that's kind of frustrating and saddening i've also come to the point in my career where i care more about giving back to my community i care about um, putting on for me my family and the people from detroit and the people that come from places like me and i know that i don't need i don't necessarily need a corporate cosign to to do that or to be that and plus i don't necessarily want a corporate cosign from people who think about um, art in that fashion or in like that way and also people who use culture for their own personal benefit but won't include the culture so I've, I've already came to the point of realization that I don't need them. I don't necessarily care to be associated with that or anything like that. I'm also like not an industry type of photographer or person. Um, I can do industry things, but it's like I much rather focus on community and things that mean something to me. So, so many people get mad when I speak on this, like, well, um, they're allowed to do what they want. And that's not true. Such and such is shot for this and they shoot this and just, it's just like, okay. Like the whole point of me bringing any of this up is to openly speak on my experience because regardless of anybody who finds it annoying, there's going to be people out there that it resonates with them and it helps them. And also there might be people out there who just have but anyway, let's just get into the video. It's going to be a bunch of BTS of me shooting for the Pistons and the Born and Raised kind of collab. And yeah, y'all just see like what I got, the, the photos that I took. And yeah. You know what I'm saying? Show it. Go, you want to shoot?
look on the camera. So as y'all seen, um, a lot of the things that we shot were things that like I'm comfortable with shooting and that like I'm I'm known to shoot and that like I shoot all the time anyway. So um, I didn't really understand the issue, but but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys got something out of it. If you did not subscribe to the channel, you are tripping. Hit that subscribe button. If you are already subscribed to the channel, I'm not talking to you. You already did what you had to do. So no worries but anyway that's gonna wrap it up we about to get up out of here and let's go do some shit you know the vibes